Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to show you how to make an incredibly popular snack from Europe and America, cinnamon rolls. We are going to begin by combining around 250 ml of warm milk with around 7 grams of yeast. Once we give this a mix we are going to set this aside for a few minutes. In the meantime we are going to crack open and separate two eggs as we are only going to be using the yolks. Adding egg yolks will help with the texture of the bread as well as the taste at the end. Then in a large mixing bowl we are going to combine 500 grams of bread flour and around 100 grams of sugar and add a pinch of salt. We are then going to give this a mix to make sure it is all incorporated before adding around 50 grams of butter and rub it in with our fingers. An easy way to make sure you get all the big clumps of butter rubbed in is by shaking the bowl and all of the big clumps will rise to the top. I'm not sure why this happens but it does. We're then going to make a well in the centre of the bowl before adding our mixture of yeast and milk along with the two egg yolks. We're going to use a fork until a rough ball forms at which point we're going to start kneading with our hands and adding flour if needed. We want the texture of this dough to be soft but not dry. Only add flour small bits at a time until you reach the consistency that you need. We're then going to place the dough into an oiled bowl covered with a damp tea towel and let this rise for at least an hour to two hours. Once the dough's finished rising, we're going to start making our cinnamon sugar. We're going to do this just by combining sugar and cinnamon together. You're going to need a lot of sugar to cover all of the cinnamon rolls, but add cinnamon to your taste, as some people prefer cinnamon more than others do. We then oil a large surface that we can roll our dough out on, as we don't really want to incorporate any more flour into the dough now. We then pretend that the camera is in focus and begin to roll out the dough. You're going to be able to roll out this dough quite thin, some people will say to roll it out to about a quarter of an inch thick or three quarters of an inch thick. However, no one will know what this is going to be roughly. So I did this by eye, making sure that it just wasn't too thin for me. We then brush all of the dough with some melted butter. I then sprinkled on as much sugar as I wanted. However, you will need a lot of sugar here. We then tightly roll this up using the longest side of the dough, then trimming off the ends of the dough and cutting into roughly 10 rolls, not including the ends. However, this just depends on how big you want your cinnamon rolls. We then lightly oil a baking dish, cover in some baking paper, and then place nine of our rolls into the baking dish. If you have a bigger baking dish, you would be able to fit all of them in. When putting these in, you want them to have some space next to each other as they're going to expand. You don't want them to go into each other too much. We're going to cover this with a damp tea towel and let rise for an hour. We're then going to quickly make our icing. We're just going to simply combine some icing sugar with some milk until it reaches a good consistency before adding a drizzle of orange extract as this will add a bit more flavour to our icing and to the whole cinnamon roll in the end. We then bake in a preheated oven at 170 to 180 degrees for around 20 minutes but make sure you keep checking on them throughout. Once they come out of the oven, we're going to let them cool for around 5 to 10 minutes, at which point we're going to drizzle all of our icing over all of the cinnamon rolls and then remove them from the baking dish and let them cool on a wire rack. If you don't let these fully cool on a wire rack, the bottoms could get soggy. And that is how you make some delicious cinnamon rolls very easily at home. I would also strongly recommend using the orange extract in the icing as this added a lot of flavour at the end. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe as we're going to have a lot more videos coming very soon. And make sure to check our social media handles in the description below.